So really excited to talk to you guys today about a set of really cool chairs that we have here today. They're also in a really color, cool color combination, the black and red and the blue and gray. They are by the famous Knoll Company, which was formerly independent of itself and now owned by Herman Miller. They purchased that company for approximately over $2 billion just this past year and they have now merged. Prior to that, these two chairs already existed, so they are very common and popular chairs from Knoll, and they get confused with each other all the time. So we are going to make sure that you know the difference between the two in the event that you are going to purchase one or the other and help you guys make that decision properly. The first thing that we're gonna go through is with the Knoll generation here, you're going to notice the biggest aspect of it having the built-in fixed lumbar to note. So it's not an adjustable lumbar, but it's built in, unlike the back of the regeneration. Secondly, you're going to notice there is a plastic frame on around the edges of the regeneration, which will not allow it to bend in the back of in any way, shape or form which you'll notice is crucial for the null generation in slight a second. So here is where you'll notice that plastic rigidity restraining this is going to come into play here in the null generation. Because there's no plastic frame restraining the edges of the back of the null generation, we can do one of these things. So this allows it to do that in addition to the serrations that they have here, creating a wide range of bendable motion for the null generation back. Now you might say, is that really important? It may or may not be, but let me show you that in action. If I were to sit in it and lean backwards, I'm going to be able to get a slightly more enhanced range of motion for the back of the chair when I'm leaning in it. And that can provide a degree of added comfort and stability. The regeneration does not have that. While still comfortable with the rubber lattice network, you'll see my back is being cradled by the rubber lattice network. I can't have my shoulders at the upper part pushing for an added give in any way, shape or form. And I don't get that added lumbar support for the lack of the lumbar that is not here while present in this one. That's the primary ways that these two chairs are different. I'm going to show you really quickly how they're the same. Obviously both have a rubber lattice network while one is constrained, one is not. They both have height adjustable arms. You'll notice that also the arms slide on both in addition to pivoting. They slide vertically and then you have the height adjustment. So very smooth height adjustments. Also a button here. Allows for height adjustment and then the sliding vertical motion in addition to the pivot. So very similar in that regard. I think the arm pads are actually better on the generation because of two things. They are thicker. You'll notice that they are th significantly thicker. And then I also like the shape of them being wider at the front as opposed to the back. Cause I think when you're trying to rest your forearms, that's crucial and it feels more natural. The arm pads here are slightly thinner while still comfortable. I just don't like that shape personally having these two together. But nonetheless, that's a way to be able to differentiate them two as well. Finally, we're gonna evaluate the seats and the, the seat depths and the tilt locks that come with them. The seats are both similar in terms of the cushions, very similar. They're not really significantly thick cushions or amazingly durable cushions. There are higher grade cushions with that regard, Steelcase probably has the best cushion-based chair if you are going to look at that. 
but they are still pretty good cushions nonetheless. If we're going to look at the next function as the seat depth, you're probably gonna be better off doing that while you're standing and you're going to have the seat depth on the right side of the regeneration with a decent range of motion of approximately six to seven inches. And then you're gonna have six to seven inches in the generation compared to the regeneration. You have the tilt locks. The tilt lock on the generation is on the right side here. It's nice and has a couple different angles. Actually, it's only two clicks on the generation. So it's 90, 110, and then all the way back. So two different lock settings for the generation, 90 and 110 degrees, and then all the way off. The regeneration here is on this lever right here, and it's only on or off. So we're gonna turn it on, forward, and now it's locked at 90 degrees, or you unlock it, and you can lean completely back. And it's the same lever as a seat height. So it's kind of hidden, might make things a little bit tricky if you have, you're not familiar with the chair or haven't read the manual. So just slide it horizontally, and there you go. You have a little bit of aesthetic difference in terms of the base. It's a little bit more artistic in the base of the null generation, and you'll notice the famous roly-poly uh, wheels, which some people often swap out for standard casters. And then you have standard casters for the null regeneration. So like I said, there's only two letters difference in terms of the names of the generation versus regeneration, and they look highly similar, especially if we had them in both the same colors, combinations which you might see them, but there are some a couple significant differences, hence why the generation is typically in the secondary market, not the new market, the secondary market, approximately 70 to $80 more for the generation versus the regeneration. We sell both of these chairs at Office Logics, and I think if you're looking for a slightly finer tuned chair, I would go with the generation. But if you're looking for a more value version of the Knoll chair, then go with regeneration there either. Thanks a lot, guys. And if you have any other comparisons and chairs that you would like to enter information about, please uh, comment in the part below.